The primary question that we ask is, if it works, does it matter? Any new technology innovation is going to encounter barriers to commercialization. And so the technology to market effort is there to really identify those barriers and break those barriers down. We use the discipline of techno-economic analysis quite often to establish a relationship between the performance of an innovation and the cost of the innovation. We'll do market analysis, we'll do supply chain analysis. That will also lend into a commercialization strategy. A good example of the impact of the technology to market program is the Harvard Slips project. We create materials, any materials really, whether it's metals or polymers or glass, that are coated with a layer of a liquid and everything slips on the liquid. I applied proposing that we will design coatings for oil pipelines. We actually went through serious, detailed techno-economic analysis, looking at 10 different potential applications. We started to talk to customers from different industries and actually identify what they need, not what we think they need. Thanks to this analysis, we are not spending two, three years under RPA grant doing something that is actually not possible. How much energy can we save if there would be no frost formation in the refrigerator coils? How much energy and fuel can we save if there would be no barnacles or muscle attachments to marine vessels? What happens if solar panels are not coated with dust? The slips technology started in my lab with a business plan with the technology to market analysis, with uh, techno-economic analysis, who are actually ready to consider a startup company that can launch this as a product. Another good example of how technology to market can impact an outcome is a project that started in other lab and ultimately ended up in a startup company called Sunfolding. When the technology was originally developed, they thought the initial focus for their commercialization efforts would be in concentrating solar power. They fairly rapidly pivoted over into solar PV because they considered that to be a more significant opportunity. At Sunfolding, we're building a new kind of solar tracker. Traditional trackers are built with 100-year-old machinery. So they're built with motors and gearboxes and torque tubes and bearings, uh, lots and lots of moving parts and lots of wear surfaces. We are replacing the traditional machinery of a solar tracker with polymers in air. When we started, we were actually working in concentrated solar. After really developing the underlying R&D of the project, really figuring out how to make a machine out of mass manufactured polymers that could last 30 years, that could last in over 100 mile per hour winds in any kind of weather, we basically said, okay, this R&D really works, what do we do now? There is this important piece that if you aren't thinking about the actual impact you're going to be making, then that work you're pouring into the technology may have no effect. One of the things RPE did was they forced us to keep reassessing what the market looked like and what the customers might want. Now almost everybody is using trackers for standard photovoltaics in the U.S. Suddenly, we had the machine that the industry needed, even though when we started, it wasn't what anyone was using. And because we were basically on top of what the market was looking like every single quarter, we actually realized that we needed to make the pivot when we did. Uh, well, if we hadn't been really paying attention to the market, we might have been moving blind in one direction without realizing the market had radically shifted beneath us in a short period of time. So I find it especially rewarding when we have the opportunity to work with groups that you know, land that great opportunity with a commercial partner or get that check from the venture capitalist who says, I really want to take this ball and run with it. We had to really question us, what is the customer value proposition? Is it scalable? How long is it going to take time to bring it to the market? Supply chain development, these are all important elements that we had to think through. RPE was really pivotal in making a huge number of connections for us. And they helped us with all the collateral we were going to be using to talk to everything from the bankability experts, to our customers, to our investors. The technology to market effort at RPE is there to serve our awardees in transitioning their technologies to the marketplace. RP wants to create technologies that work and technologies that matter.